Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you something I wanted to know for a long time How to build a 3D room from scratch in Clip Studio Paint and save it for later The idea of making the full room instead of just a background is so you can come back to the file every time a scene takes place here I'll be working with a 4K size canvas, but any size should be okay So let's start with the essential A desk just drop the material here in the canvas It can happen sometimes that the material won't let you change its size So in that case, you just have to click here and open the prompt This is a list of all the 3D materials in your room right now You can toggle them on and off And in this case, you're going to be toggling off the lock size And then work it like normal Now you're going to use this first material as a reference on where to place the other stuff I like adding the big stuff first and build from there But that's up to you this is also up to you, but you can use the multiple angle vision to build a room with more ease. This is under window and all sides view. It has a bit of a learning curve, but worth it. I think I don't really use it, I prefer the advanced sims vibes. Nice! Now we have a room. You have two options. If your room is ready and you don't need to color it, duplicate the layer, rasterize it and boom! Done! Now just copy it and paste it on your other file. You're done! If you're going with this option, you should probably know that you can change the ambient light, color and intensity from the left panel, light source and ambience light color. If you're going to need to color it, then go to layer, convert layer to lines and tones and hit preview now here you're going to have to play around a little bit with the settings to fit your personal style personally I prefer the thin lines so I'll go with that by the way, if your computer is an old toaster like mine it might take a while changing settings once you're happy with it, hit ok and go make yourself some nice tea because this is going to take a few minutes a few moments later it's done! now you have the lines, colors, shades and everything in a folder now you can either merge it and just click Ctrl C, Ctrl V into another canvas and save it or I would suggest saving it as a PNG remember to turn off the background if you want to paint it as well How did you like this advanced sims tutorial? Let me know if it worked for you and like and subscribe for Ruby Art!